Hi everybody. So today I'm going to attempt to make pasta or homemade pasta. Um, it's a bit of an experiment because I've never done it before. So I'm going to have the person who's filming me give me the instructions. Uh, somebody, a real Tuscan, so someone from Tuscany who lives here and it's the recipe that that person uses. <laughs> Hopefully it'll go well. Obviously I will uh, show you how to make it from the beginning all the way to the end. Okay, all right, have fun. Here we go. So one and a half kilos of flour, then cinque uova, so five eggs, and then we have quattro solo tuorli, so four, I mean I put them in separate bowls so you can kind of understand, uh, four of them need to be just the yolks, so five whole eggs, these ones, and then four just yolks. Then two spoonfuls, tablespoons of uh, extra virgin olive oil. Then one cup of milk, so un bicchiere di latte. One glass of water, salt, and then you obviously need a scale to weigh the ingredients. And I will be using this pasta maker, which is an automatic one with a motor, so I don't have to use my muscles. Okay, so now I'm going to listen to the instructions and, and then you guys will see um, how to do the, the pasta. So I'll be switching between English and Italian. Allora dimmi un po' cosa devo fare? Devi prendere la farina e fare un cratere. Okay. Okay, so now I need to basically weigh uh, the one and a half kilos of flour. So that's half a kilo, and now the other one is already a kilo, so I'm just going to put them all together. Finished with the weighing, that was quick. Alright, all right. Ora devo metterlo giù qui, giusto? Alright, so now I basically have to make this dough. So I need to put the kilo and a half of flour here on the counter. Well, that seems like a lot. Okay, so this recipe should be probably seven or for seven or eight people. Sette, otto persone. It depends how much del, they eat. Del calibro dei miei figlioli. Ah, they eat a lot. Diciamo dieci persone del calibro normale. Okay, so it could be even for ten if you eat a normal amount. Okay, so now devo fare un po' giusto. Catere. Mm. Make a little like crater, cratere, crater. Right? Bello, grande, profondo perché ci sono nove uova. Okay, so I meant to make it very deep and big because obviously in total I need to put the five full eggs and then the four yolks. Da una parte troppo alto e da una parte basso. Huh? Okay, and now Bye. eggs. Bye. Right. Uova. uova e sbattile. Eh? Sbatti le uova. Qui? Nella ciotola? Dove ti pare? Ah, non le posso buttare dentro. Ma e dopo, se non sono sbattute... Eh, ah, ok. So, I, first I need to crack the eggs and beat them in the bowl. Perfetto. Ok, and so now I'm going to separate the yolks from the, the whites. Perfetto. Ok, ovviamente gli egg whites you can keep them and then use them for another recipe. Ok, so I am gonna add the salt into the eggs before I mix them. Dimmi quanto? Di più? Basta. Ok. E ora I'm gonna beat the eggs. Okay? Come on. Okay. Devo mettere tutto dentro? Certo. Alright, so now I'm gonna take the eggs and I'm gonna stick them in the hole here. Now I need to... No, 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 no. What? No. Latte, acqua. Tutto? Certo. Qui? Yes. Oh my god. Okay, so he's telling me I need to add... Devi, devi arginare il cratere perché è basso. Ok, 
So before I add the, the glass of milk and the glass of water, voy a hacerlo, you know? Okay. Okay, I need to add everything now. So as you can see, I think my crater is not deep enough. I need to kind of make... Aumenta l'argine. Alzalo un pochino. Alzalo un pochino. Come faccio? Eh, levi di sotto e metti di sopra. Okay. Vai. He's telling me I need to make the edges higher because otherwise, and it's obvious, everything is gonna leak out. Vai, ok. A lot of Metti mezzo bicchiere d'acqua e mezzo bicchiere di latte perché ti va tutto fuori. Ok, so he said I need to start with half, half a glass of milk and... No, mettilo tutto in acqua, no, basta. So. Um, leva, said... leva dal piano quella roba che non ti serve, leva l'olio e leva il latte. Ma l'olio non l'ho ancora messo. Se non l'hai messo, mettilo e fatti spazio perché hai bisogno di spazio. Ok, so he's telling me, and it's actually quite common sense, but since I'm completely following instructions, uh, he said to put everything in and then get rid of it because I need space. So I'm going to put the two tablespoons of olive oil. So one. Okay, and then start uh, with half a cup of the water and half a cup of the milk because otherwise everything is going to leak out, so we'll try. Va bene? Non è mezzo. Intanto lo devo aggiungere. Mi sta già uscendo qui. Okay? So, that's half of the water. Lo fa così? Sì, ma piano piano perché ti parte tutto, eh? So I'm supposed to take the flower. I'm supposed to take the flower from the outside and put it in. So ah! l'ho detto piano, piano l'ho detto. Madonna. Ma uno ti dice piano e parti tanta roba. No, no. Oh, I really wanted to cry, but I didn't give up. I salvaged it. This is what was left on the counter. Chuck this. So now I'm adding a little bit of egg. You have to make sure you have space so you really have to get rid of everything. So now I have to use my hands like a scoop. Get giusto sotto e poi dentro, giusto? Like a scoop from under. Ma piano, e stai già partendo a bestia. I need to go really slow. Così. Sì, ma l'ha fatta a piccoli pezzettini, comunque hai fatto delle manate, sembravi una ruspa. Ok? Vai. E ora? Comincia a lavorare. Si fa? Si fa a paletta. Ok, I have to keep doing these scoops of flour. Maybe after I'll get the real Italian to do it, because he's probably freaking out right now with the way I'm doing it. Va bene così o no? Benissimo. Ah, oh, ok. It's acceptable. Impasta ancora un po' e poi dopo ci rimetti il resto. Okay, so we're gonna put a little bit more to, to knead the dough a little bit more and then add the rest of the egg. Okay? Vai. And a little bit more water. Okay? Ma è piano perché poi sennò ti gli scappano a fare Water and milk, just a bit. Okay, so now we have the Tuscan who's gonna show you the, the moves because now basically you need to knead it for 15 minutes and I honestly don't have the, <laughs> the endurance and the strength to do that. The dough is already changing. Ti levi un attimo la mano così faccio vedere. 
Okay, after about seven minutes of kneading, practically non-stop. Non vi dovete spaventare se vi fanno male i polsi, perché vi faranno male i polsi. I said it's normal that your wrists may, you may feel your wrists, they may hurt a little bit, because you, as you can see, you need to put a lot of, you need to put a lot of energy and effort into it. Now you can see the dough is taking form. Siamo? You see? Wow, che ci siamo? Like this. Okay, so he, he cut it in half because he wanted to check the consistency and he says it's already pretty good. Okay. So basically he after he having divided it into two, now he's kneading both separately because it's easier to work with a smaller portion. It's uh, in order to perfect the consistency of the dough. You gotta wrap it in plastic wrap and put it in the fridge for two hours. And uh, so I took it out of the plastic wrap, as you can see, and now I'm going to take a knife, cut off a piece, va bene, così, questa quadrata? No, è grossa. Così? Sì. Ok. Kind of like reshape it a little bit, but it needs to be kind of a long piece. And then I'm going to use the machine, which first you need to, it has these little numbers here. First, I need to make it go through at three, then he told me I need to change it, turn it to five, and, uh, and then that's that. Metti la mano sotto. Ti sta andando di dietro, non devi mettere le mani subito. Vabbè, è venuta lo stesso, va bene. So this is the way it is. After the first time you pass it through, so it's still pretty thick, so too thick to make pasta. So now I need to switch it to five, and then I'm gonna try again. This time probably I'll do a better job. Okay. So I forgot to tell you that um, we put flour on the, the counter and also pour flour into the machine so it doesn't stick. So now I'm gonna try the next one. This should be interesting. È, è largo però, no? Accompagnalo con la mano, comunque lo puoi piegare anche a metà se vuoi. A, a metà in quell'altro senso. Così? Sì. Così? Sì. Ah, ok. La pasta ho visto è abbastanza elastica, per cui non ci sono problemi. Ok. Accompagnalo con una mano e con l'altra lo prendi. this big, long, much thinner piece, which I'm going to put here on the table. And today we're making a type of pasta which is called macaroni. So it's nothing, nothing at all like the macaroni that you're used to. They're actually flat squares or rectangles. So I'm going to make smaller ones. So I'm, I'm cutting off the end pieces so that I have like nicer lines. All right. Ma puoi fare rettangolari? O devo fare a metà così è meglio? Ti vengono un po' piccoli. Decidi te. È la scelta tua. No, ma non sono per me. Non c'hai da venderli, c'hai da mangiarli. Mm. Ok, so I'm gonna go along here and split it in half. Ok, and now I'm gonna make little squares. Ma se deve pigiare a modo, eh, deve pigiarsi. Ok. So, one, this will take me like forever. I, I'm sure the Italian grandmas are like, my God, you are a terrible pasta cutter. End result, a table full of macaroni. Yum! <laughs> Thank you.